All right, positions in wrestling. You'll start from neutral position. Neutral position is where you face each other. This is how a match starts. You'll find their tape mark that's either red or green, and you'll put your toe on the line, and the referee will blow his whistle after you shake hands. Go ahead and shake hands, and the ref will blow his whistle. All right, break, guys. Next thing you're going to do, after the first period, you're going to get choice. When are you gonna, he's going to flip a coin. Be either red or blue or red or green. Red guy gets choice. He gets to choose top, which looks like show us top position, Trevor. Thumb up, down position. Hold on a second. Show us what the top position looks like from a ref, all right? Down position. Neutral. All right, guys. So he chose top. And he gets on top. Waits for the ref's whistle. And they would wrestle when the ref blows his whistle. Now, since Trevor got choice, in the third, Logan would get choice if the match is still going on. He would choose neutral, show us neutral, top, or bottom. Now, in the second period, Trevor could have chose something else. What could you have chosen, Trevor? Defer. defer. If you get a choice in the second period, you can always defer. All right? Our stance. Make sure we, when we get our stance, we're bent at the waist. We got shoulder knee alignment. Why don't you guys go ahead and turn to the side for me? There you go, good. You can see there, shoulder knee alignment, bent at the waist. Let's see. Good stance, right guys? Stance is important. Why is stance important? You have to speak up. Good balance. Good balance? Yeah, good offensive Yeah, good, good points. Good offensive position. You gotta have a good stance, not only for good offense, but good defense. What's our first line of defense? Our heads. What's our second line of defense? Our hands. And what's that third line of defense? Our hips. All right, another thing that goes along with good position is good hand fighting skills. All right, so we're gonna have Logan and Trevor show us how to hand fight in good position, go. Look at both of them trying to establish inside control. They're moving left and right, they're circling. They're not staying in one position. They're moving across the mat. This is how you would stay in good position while you're trying to establish inside control while you're hand fighting to set up your takedown. Stop. All right, Logan is going to establish inside control with fish hooks. Go ahead and turn and show us what fish hooks are, Logan. Face us, turn your opponent. There you go. So you can see there, He's got a hook on the inside of his tricep. All right, he can put his thumb in on top, like this, Logan. He can put his thumb on top, or he can put a, or he can just uh, hold it at like a normal grip. All right, once you have inside control, he's gonna flare the elbows out and hit a double leg. Good. Same thing, inside control, Trevor's gonna hit a high crotch. One more time. From inside control, Logan is going to do a push pull with his fish hooks to hit a single leg. Once again, he's going Besides leg attacks from inside control, you need secondary attacks. One of those secondary attacks is a duck under. Again, where we see on this side, we want to see the duck on this side.
go behind. Make sure your uh, forearm's in the back of the neck and your V-blocking uh, block, v his elbow, inside elbow. I do it from this side so we can see you. Good. All right, now Logan is going to demonstrate when he sprawls how to do a quick go behind. Trevor's going to shoot. He sprawls, clubs ahead, quick go behind. You notice how he blocks his hand. Oh. Really block that elbow. Do it again. Good. All right, Logan's going to shoot, and Trevor's going to demonstrate how to hit a quarter Nelson from a sprawl position. Go. Bye. Get a quarter Nelson, your, your opponent goes ahead and shoots. You got to take your right hand. I'm only back up. Take your right hand and you make a C clamp. Show us a C clamp. You're going to put that right down on the back of his neck. And then you're going to take your uh, left arm under his armpit and you're going to apply like a wrench on top of his forearm. And you're going to start cranking, circling, circling until he starts circling with you. And then you're going to shuck it all by. So you got your quarter Nelson in, and you start circling, and the guy stays well planted, and you start turning him. Keep turning him, put your chin in his side, and pull him straight over. Quarter Nelson, say you're trying to circle him, he stays planted, and he, and he starts turning, put your chin in his side, and start turning him into his back. Good. Next thing we uh, cover is when we get our head caught in a basket, and that's when we're we get our head underneath because we took a bad shot. First thing we want to do is control that elbow and pull that down. All right. What Logan wants to do here is he wants to hit what's called a Syracuse. This is just to gain better position. So he's going to sit through all the way towards the head. Good. Again, one more time. Good. All right, this time Trevor's got his head in the basket. He's going to do something different. He's going to do a peek out and try to score points. He's going to control the elbow. Go back to the beginning there, bud. Trevor's going to control the elbow, and he's going to sit through, looking for a thigh. And pull himself around. Elbow control. Good. All right, the next thing we're going to cover here is called an east slide stand-up. You can do this from either side. All right. The reason we want an east slide stand up is because we don't want to explode our hands into our belly. We'll explain that why later when we go over tilts. We want to explode out with our knee slide and then attack our hands. So it looks like this. Go. 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 See how he forced his hips outwards. Again, Logan on bottom, Trevor on top. Ready? Go. Excellent. All right, next thing we're going to cover is called a sit out turn in. I'll have these guys do it with no partner and then together with partner. Ready? Go. Go. Good. Now, you guys should be on your toes more when you're doing it. Let's tripod on our toes the right way this time. Ready? Go. Excellent. Ready? Go. Excellent. Logan, get on top of Trevor. I'm sorry, Trevor got on top of Logan. 
Ready? Go. Good. All right, the next escape we're gonna cover is called a switch. They're gonna have Trevor demonstrate his first, then Logan. On the word, go. Watch how he clears his hand away from the arm chop. Go. All right, Logan. Reaches inside the thigh, pulls himself around. Trevor again. Clears his arm. Keep going. Reaches inside the thigh, pulls himself around, applies pressure. You see how he applied pressure there? Logan, one more time. Clears his hand, keeps going, inside the thigh, applies pressure, brings himself around. Excellent. From the top position, you have to learn how to float properly. You don't ever want to float with your hands over top of your opponent's shoulders. You want to be able to ride underneath the shoulder pits. So when you float, you want to float under the arms. When your bottom guy moves, you float under his arms. Stand behind him. You float. You keep moving. Stay under the arms. Don't ever come over the top because if you come over the top, you're going to get taken out. Just like that. You see how Trevor came over the top. Go ahead. The first turn and breakdown we're gonna cover is what we call an arm chop tight waist. Trevor's gonna take his right arm. Let's see your right arm, Trevor, show it to us. He's gonna reach all the way across the belly when the whistle blows and he's gonna pull that back and he's gonna chop the arm and circle it towards his left. Good. One more time. He's gonna chop the arm, get a nice tight waist, and break them down good now all right once he's got them broke down say your hands got his hand his hands out in front of him so you can't get anything Trevor's gonna reach out establish control of the wrist he's gonna pull it back in all right once he gets here he's gonna punch his half sink it deep chest to chest on his toes and post head up Time. Then grab the wrist, pull it in, punch his half. Chest, head up, post on your toe. All right, Logan's gonna do an arm chop tight waist as well. Go ahead, Logan. To the left, all right, now he's gonna establish an arm bar. They're just going to get a chicken wing and an arm bar. There you go. And he's going to circle right around the head. And there you go, tripod on his face. Good. All right. Logan gets him broke down here because he arm chopped him. You can see he's going to try, he's going to slip his arm in there to get that wing. Once he gets that wing, he's gonna go ahead and get that wrist control to get the bar. He's gonna suck that in nice and tight, and he's gonna start applying pressure into his ear, his opposite ear, while he's circled towards the head. As he circles, he just stays in a nice hips down position till he turns. Good. Um, one silk rail, I can uh, chop in the arm to chop the arms up sideways, it doesn't go down. I'm going to keep the bicep here and I'm just going to block his knee and my knee and tilt back. This, my right leg, is going to be kicking this leg up. So if he tries to turn either way, I got him with that leg and my body's there so he can't move that way. Um, you can also do that tilt instead of grabbing the bicep, you can grab inside right here. You get if I am feel out of position and I need to post back up and come back and reset, that arm is clamped in there. I'm not going to be able to get that out as easily as if I, I have this bicep. One with a bicep. Good. One with wrist control.
Excellent. Notice when uh, Logan spar rides, he applies pressure inside the thigh and, and punches out into a half or a claw, or you could just uh, elbow chop out. All right, he's in a cross face. Hand planted inside his legs. He brings his head to his leg, locks it up, and loads. Knee in the side. Trevor drives his point forwards for a breakdown, and he, get, and he gets his ankle hooked in there. Guy's strong, so he hits that ankle. He starts circling that ankle towards the head so he can club the, his opponent's head there. Once he gets there, he's going to sink in a near side cradle by using his leg. Locks that up, puts his head in the side, and he goes ahead and he rocks him right over. All right, how do we score points in wrestling? From the neutral position, if Logan takes his opponent down to the mat, that's two points. Takedowns are two points. Trevor bases up, hits a knee slide stand up, escapes, that's one point. All right, if Trevor takes Logan to the back, takes him from the mat to his back, he gets two, plus throws a half Nelson, plus if he gets one, two back swipes, that's two points. And Logan hits a switch, that's two points. If Logan turns Trevor for the half, to be pinned, you have to have both of his shoulder blades down for a count of at least two seconds. So it would go one 1,000, two 1,000, pin. Another way you could score points in wrestling is penalty points. So let's say Trevor picks his opponent up, and a deep double leg and slams him to the mat. That could be a potentially dangerous call where Logan would get one penalty point. If, we're, if Logan's on bottom and Trevor locks his hands, that's a penalty point. You cannot lock hands from the top position in wrestling. Overtime. If a match goes into overtime, the match starts in neutral for one minute and they wrestle. Break. If after one minute there's no score, they go to tie up. One guy down, one guy on top. They go 30 seconds. Stop. If there's still no score, they change positions. And they go again for 30 seconds. Stop. If still at the end of this time, there's still no determined winner, they will go into the ride out. It is a 130 second period. You gotta be careful on what you choose. If you choose down, you have to escape. If you choose top, you have to hold your opponent down. So a 30 second ride out for the top man to win would look like this. Go. Break. So if you ride your opponent out for 30 seconds, you would win that match. If the guy on bottom escapes in that 30 seconds, he wins that match.